Hey guys, it's Shane from Jags Journey. As I'm back at Warner Brothers Movie World in the Gold Coast, I'm here for another night of Fright Nights. Now this is the second to last night for the 2024 Halloween event Fright Nights here at Movie World. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is between uh, the first night when I visited and tonight. But tonight's video is going to be pretty relaxed. We're just going to cruise around, check out what the differences are. We're going to still going to go through the mazes. Um, I'm going to go to First Bite again, which is the VIP uh, pre-event uh, experience. We're about to do that now. Um, we're going to check that out again and um, take you along as well. Anyway, let's go now and check it all out. So why don't you come along with me and join the journey. <laughs> Alright, so just arrived in to uh, Friday nights. The time is uh, 4.25. Now the first bite VIP starts at 4.30. So heading down there right now. The smoke was already starting to be pumped into Main Street. Alright, so just gonna make my way through this fog somewhere at the end of this fog is first bite. There it is. We made it. Alright, this is uh, where, of course, the awesome Radio Metro is set up, pumping the jams for the first bite. Alright, so I uh, just came through. Um, now, again, you get unlimited alcoholic drinks, including cocktails. So, about to have the first cocktail, of course. Alright, so uh, there's three kinds of cocktails here that you can choose from. Well, I have to get one of each, of course. Let's start off with this one here the Netherworld Nectar. Looks like mixes melon, vodka, and pineapple with a fruity, otherworldly experience. Let's check it out. Cheers. Oh, that's strong. Awesome. I tell you what, the uh, the food is fantastic here as well. All right, got some characters. Oh, hey, what's up? JJ, when I see one, mate, how are you? Right, cheers, mate. Make sure, you, make sure you're here, man. Oh, so good. oh yeah, make sure you're here. Matty, Matty. You're having good. a good time, mate? Always, always, always. Oh, I love seeing your face. Thanks, mate. Hey, there you go. Another one. It's a good thing we've got the characters here. Yeah. This is good. Oh, Gotta check out the first bite. Yeah. Alright, this is where they're making the sliders. I'll tell you what, the sliders are absolutely delicious as well. Alright, time to grab another cocktail and uh, I'm gonna go the blue one. I think I had that last time as well, but anyway. Give that a go. Awesome. There's another cocktail, it's called the Inferno. It looks quite interesting. I'm gonna check that one out as well. Whoa. That's quite uh quite hot, very nice. Time for another uh, 
cocktail. Try the red one this time. This one's the uh, bloody, bloody berry apparently. Pretty good. So we've been here for nearly an hour and a half and the opening moment is at six o'clock. Now, as I said in my last video, you do get a VIP area to watch the uh, opening moment from, but you are watching from the side. So I'm probably gonna stand in Main Street somewhere to get a better look at that for you guys as well. Don't forget to check out my opening night video, by the way, uh, it has everything covered off, but we are gonna do everything tonight as well. So um, anyway, we're gonna go see the opening moment right now.
also around Main Street is banging. Like there, there's heaps of performers and chainsaws, unlike the first night. So really good to see quite a different atmosphere here on Main Street. you want to see a bright nice bit of chaos going on chainsaws crazy. and don't forget all the rides are also open at night here at bright nights Alright, well again, the opening moment was awesome as always, and I uh, really enjoyed it. Lots of characters, uh, and it's awesome to see Main Street full of chainsaw wielding characters as well. I'm going to head down now to the mazes. Uh, we're going we're to do all five right now. We've got Fast Track, so we're going to smash them out. Then we're going to check out what else is happening in the park. We're going to check out food as well. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to do DC Deceased first tonight. And of course, we got Fast Track. Well, uh, again, if you haven't got Fast Track for Deceased, you're waiting for a while. We've got Radio Metro here, pumping the jams. All right, Deceased. Here we go, back to DC Deceased. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, geez. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I'll tell you what, this, this is pretty cool. Whoa, geez. Whoa. so good done deceased maze definitely a uh, pretty good maze compared to last year so we're off to do the rest right now let's go
So I'm just down in the uh, Doomsday Precinct and I tell you what, all the police cars have the lights on in here tonight. Total different vibe down here. Uh, it's pretty awesome, hey. So um, yeah, good to see some awesome improvements. But yeah, definitely come down to uh, check out the Doomsday Precinct on your way up to the mazes. Pretty awesome. All right, so up the top at the rest of the other four mazes up here, it's pretty packed out tonight. Uh, it is a sold out night. Don't forget uh, your Radio Metro up here, DJ. All right, so I'm gonna uh, hit the death row fast track first. It's uh, my favorite maze of the night, and it definitely is the scariest, I think. Uh, anyway, let's go do death row. Oh, jeez. So just a death row and it did not disappoint. Now I'm gonna go and do a circus and then hell ship. And by the way, unlike the first night, uh, the fast track passes get scanned right at the entry of the signages. Uh, they were getting scanned at the entry of the maze. So that's uh, different compared to the first night. Circus definitely doesn't disappoint. Uh, probably definitely, definitely top three for sure. Now check out how busy these queues are. A big wait times here tonight. Again, if you can do fast track for the mazes, I would highly recommend it. Otherwise, you're pretty much going to spend your whole entire night queuing for the mazes. All right, time to do hell ship. Let's check it out. 
Time to do the last maze, which is conjuring. Check it out. All right, so we're at the front of the queue for the conjuring. Let's see if it still is my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I think I rated it number two. Jeez. Okay. That got me. Uh, got, got me good. There's, uh, there's Annabelle. Ah! Oh! So I've just finished all five mazes and uh, geez, I think tonight the order, my top five, well I'd say five mazes, but uh, I think it's changed. So I would say Conjuring number one, Circus number two, Death Ray number three, Hellship number four, and DC Deceased number five. That's definitely how I rate this year's mazes for my second visit here at Friday Nights 2024. I don't know why, but the uh, Wild West Falls Rise is actually not open tonight. Ooh. It was open the last time, but tonight it is closed. It's all in darkness. Not sure why that is. Anyway, 
Hopefully it'll be open on the last night. Halloween night. By the way, I just want to give a big shout out to Jason Power. I uh, just want to say thank you so much for watching my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Down the western area, you can also get uh, popcorn charas as well. There's a bar set up here in the uh, Santa Fe Cantina. And it looks like uh, the same sort of cocktails that we had for the first bite are also available in the park as well from the bars that are set up and from the Dirty Harry Bar as well, of course. So obviously there's a number of food outlets open, including Wild West Burgers, uh, well actually it's Wild West Hot Dogs at the moment, I think. Last time I was here, I just basically grabbed a basic hot dog, but part of the first bite is you do actually get a voucher for any food item around the park, like a meal, so not sure if I'll get something from here, maybe the Dirty Harry Bar. So yeah, got to uh, collect a meal and a drink and some dessert as well. That's what you get on top of everything else with the first bite. It's pretty good. Right, I might actually grab a drink and something to eat maybe now, but uh, let's check out the clowns over here. Some of the other food options here tonight at the Dirty Harry Bar and uh, Grill is got the uh, Harry's Wing Fix. So if you're into your, your wings, you gotta come here and check this out. Uh, sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest at the moment. Crispy coated bonus wings, you get a half dozen for 13 or a dozen for 23. And then you've got, uh, I guess, different sauces and stuff like that. And uh, Gotham City Cafe have the uh, Slaughterhouse Stack. So this one here is an open-faced burger with a juicy beef patty, savory onions, bacon and a rich cheesy sauce and a, spice, uh, a zesty spicy mayo. You also get chicken tenderloin, uh, seasoned chips and a regular soft drink for 23 as well. Alright, time for another cocktail. The uh, the mango daiquiri and a margarita. Why not try another cocktail? Cheers. Whoa. It's really strong, it's really nice though. It's actually nice and cold and refreshing. It's been a pretty warm night tonight, even though it's just starting now to spit. So we might get a bit of rain. At least we've done all the mazes. Cheers. All right, so we uh, decided to get the chicken wings from the uh, Dirty Harry Outdoor Grill, Bar and Grill. It was pretty cool. We got a barbecue sauce there, and we also got like a pineapple sauce as well. So these are boneless chicken wings. So they look pretty good. I'm gonna try the uh, pineapple one first, I think. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. It's actually really nice. I think it's a bit spicy. Anyway, it's nice. But well, definitely nice and uh, nice and tender on the inside. All right, so I still need to get some more food uh, to uh, use up this pass. You never know who you'll see here in Main Street as well, by the way. So, anyway, I go now and uh, grab some pizza. All right, looks like they've got some pizza left. Hmm, wonder what I should choose. What flavor? Probably just go for, uh, I don't know. Let's see what they got. All right, so I'm here at the uh, Main Street Pizza Shop and decided to get the pizza dog combo. So you can get a combo, it's part of the uh, first bite um, meal that you can get in the park. So what you get with that is you get a pizza dog, you get a garlic bread and a drink. Normally this is like $20 but this is included in the first bite. 
Uh, you can choose food from other other venues, but I just chose this tonight. Let's check it out. Whoa, check that out. So this is the uh, bar barbecue chicken, actually, this one. This is the barbecue chicken pizza dog. And it's quite a, a decent sized pizza as well. So you get that, that's, that's massive. That's a massive pizza. And then of course you get the garlic bread as well, which I guess is just standard garlic bread. Yep, just standard garlic bread. It's a decent size though, it's, a, it's like half a loaf. You get that and you get the regular drink, $20 or free, or included with the uh, first bite, if you choose to have this. Anyway, I'm gonna dig in now and have some dinner. All right, here's a better look at that, uh, that garlic bread as well. Is it decent? It's definitely like half a half a garlic bread there. That's crazy. I already had a, a bite of the uh, the hot dog out of this pizza. This is massive, by the way. This is huge. Man, this included again 59 bucks for that whole first bite. If you're coming on the last night, I think they cap it at around 200. So you better get online and get that if you want it. It's such good value for money. Tell you what, this pizza is delicious. Again, I got the uh, barbecue chicken, and it's actually a 10 inch uh, pizza, so um, with the hot dog on it as well, and the garlic bread. But anyway, this pizza is delicious. Mm. Definitely check it out in Main Street. It's really good. All right, so part of first bite, I just have to redeem either an ice cream or a churros and you can get uh, an ice cream from the connoisseur or just a normal ice cream store as well or from sweet treats so i'm going to get a uh, mango sorbet from the ice cream shop all right let's try the mango sorbet looks like there's real pieces of um mango inside there as well mm. delicious also managed to get a mint and cookies ice cream as well. Let's give that a go. All right. So mint and cookies. Oh wow. That's really minty. It's delicious. So now I'm going to do the uh, Hollywood Horror Encounters again. Uh, the Exorcist is definitely my favourite. So uh, we're going to check it out. The It, the it one isn't actually open tonight. Not sure why. But anyway, we're going to do The Nun. We're going to do The Exorcist and Slenderman. Let's go. So that's going to do it for my look tonight here at my second visit to Friday Nights 2024 here at Warner Brothers Movie World. Uh, I tell you what, I really had an awesome time tonight. Uh, they definitely changed it up from the first night, particularly in Main Street. Heaps more characters. Uh, they had the, the guys skidding with the sparks. Uh, more chainsaws going on all night too. So it was full on. That's how it should be. That's how it was tonight. And I tell you what, 
Um, the whole atmosphere here, the whole vibe was just awesome. So again, I had another awesome night. Uh, enjoyed all the mazes again and um, enjoyed all the foods that we tried. And again, the first bite experience is such good value for money. There is only one more Fright Night left. It's on October the 31st, Halloween night. Uh, I don't think it's sold out yet, but I'm sure it will be close to selling out. You might want to get on there and book a ticket. But if you are coming to Fright Nights and you haven't already booked the first bite, 100% I would recommend that for 59 bucks. Such good value for money. Unlimited drinks for that hour and a half. You get food in there as well. You get characters in there. You got Radio Metro DJs going on. It's so cool. Plus you get vouchers for food in the park, drinks and ice cream as well. Such good day for money, can't recommend it enough. I think they only have a cap it at 200 people, so make sure you don't miss out on that anyway. Anyway guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a like. Make sure you follow us on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook as well. And don't forget to subscribe to Jag's Journeys to keep the journey going. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next journey.